Ooh, let's, let's grab this forehead here. We're like shopping for images. Texture. I'm saturating it, lightening it a bit. A lot of texture. Slowly building him up. Why oh, is this thing all messed up? Okay, let's go back to our screen. Fat chills. Can we use here? Uh, this might sort of work. The horizontal. Delete the extra parts we don't need. Shape wise, it's there. It's working really well. It's a nice feel. This is all volume metric looks to it. I even use that chin for other sections that I need more meat on the guy. So. muzzle. The horizontal. Yeah, move it over here. And just sort of erasing out what you don't need to accomplish your task.
And then I'm actually gonna do a little bit of pain. So already you see I got up to all this stage just with nothing more than overlaying textures and images together. And now I can start doing what I you know was trained in art school to do, which is paint a little bit. <laughs> Painting some teeth here. His mouth is just wicked open everywhere. So I like the skin section here. Let's we'll see if I can reuse parts of it. out. Let me just plug in my battery for a second. Alright, that was a little unprofessional, but <clears throat> I'll throw in a little bit more of this stuff here. So we want to merge it. Using the stamp tool to just sort of blend from one area to the other. This Nazi sign in at some point. So let me cut that out. Just in here. Post it in. So we just do a simple multiply. A little bigger. I'm gonna just get rid of everything else I don't need. Hmm. Multiply is not working that well. Let me see. This is not too bad. Warp a little bit. All the fine details. This is really stuff that is really left for the end. You see, you can see this. The skin right here is really, really smooth. So we're gonna have to retexture it again. And the way we do that is just using this big old image. 
and we go back to where we got our original skin textures from. So, which was this this neck of this woman here? It's beautiful. And then we just throw it right back on. Yeah. Desaturate again, get the light, change the hues to where you like it a bit better. Get the darkness up again. And maybe this time I want to multiply a little bit. Oof. You see how you can see the texture already in this thing? And I can use different blend modes. Like this I think is a pretty good one. Darker colors is a good one to get me what I want. This one makes it lighter. This makes it darker. I think soft light's pretty good. Let's do soft light. This adds like a little bit I just need. You know, erase what I don't need, which is everything in the mouth, everything in the dark areas. And then I'm going to do a little painting. Gotta, uh, you know, cut him some. Gotta make sure he's. The, the perspective is right. His mouth is opening right. These two bone cartilages right here. Messing me up a little bit. Make sure some of his teeth stand out. It's these little small dots that, that indicate create a really hard edge to the strong really fast. And then let's re put back his nose in here again. Radiate a little bit more. A dark gradient. If you want to ever make a gradient, you know, get this to look more realistic, just throw in a gradient in the background over your paintings or your stuff. It just it makes everything better. So, you know, from